My mic is not going to be as good today because um, I can't put it right up next to my face, unfortunately, because of how I need to put the tablet right in front of me. I don't have my mic on a stand and it's not on my headphones, so alas. I mean, yeah, it's fine because it's still like di directly in front of me, it's just further away. Uh, I gotta link the person whose commission I'm doing today to my stream. I will likely not, I will likely only be doing the commission today and then I will, oh shoot, need to close my stream so I don't get the double audio. Um, only be doing the commission and then I'll likely um, stop for the day, but. Whoops. Dang it. Hi. Commissioner, Commissioner Mirror. I'm, I'm just on this screen while I get set up and, oh shoot, I should probably actually link people on my Twitter. That would probably help. Hello, Draga. You found your way here without the uh, tweet. Mm. I might not catch chat while I'm drawing. And also, I mean, I I've, normally I kind of anticipate doing art streams. Art streams without my microphone on, but in this case, I kind of feel like talking. Um, but in the future, uh, you know what, it says Bloons TD. Um, it's, it's too late, the VOD's already gonna be named Bloons TD, but oh well. Um, but yeah, like, like with, with Choose Streams, with Choose Streams, they turn their mic off for art, but not me. I am deciding to not do that. Um. Hello, Zena. I mean, yeah, I could, but I'm not I'm not so pressed by that that I need to do that. People come to this stream expecting Bloons Tower Defense and they, all they get is furries. Which I guess is also what you get with Bloons Tower Defense because you're playing as a bunch of monkeys. So technically they should have already been expecting this. Moose Tower Defense. That's very funny. Instead of balloons, it's cows. Alright, oh, I gotta set my timer app up. Basically what's going to be happening while I draw this is I'm going to be taking... I'm going to be drawing probably about 10-12 minutes at a time and then I will take a 5 minute break. Um, 
stretch and hydrate and all that. Uh, pretty soon as well, there's going to be dinner incoming, lunch, whatever. So I might, when I'm eating that, I might turn my mic off so I can eat in peace. Um. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I think we should probably just get started here. This is the first time in, like, ever that... <laughs> nope. This is the first time in, like, ever. And also, let me know if everything looks good on the... Um, thing here. Um, it's the kind of thing where I've not actually drawn, like, live for people very much. So, Mirror, just, like, let me know if anything looks off. Um, and just know that I'm doing my best. <laughs> That's good. Kind of drawing at a bit of a lower frame rate than I normally do because I have the stream preview open. It's the easiest way for me to have my chat open and know that it's doing good. Although I could probably like, actually I probably can just pop my chat out. Like so, and then minimize that. Oh, shoot. Okay, minimizing minimizing OBS also minimizes the whole thing. So instead, what I'm going to do is this. Okay. okay. All right. The character is a wolf, right? Yeah. A waff. All right. You guys get to see the weird process I go through to draw anatomy that is probably not very accurate. I, I find my process a little funny because I I do like I draw like basically the Gorgeist first and then I draw the arms of any artwork that I do like I draw like armless and then then the arms come later and then like typically this first pass is like just um a mess of like anatomy until I figure it out. Yeah. Like. I mean, I'm sure everybody here knows how that whole process goes. My my anatomy. My anatomy in terms of confidence in just doing it is kind of terrible, but I know what works for me. So it's like... I also find the arms like some of the hardest to place myself. Um, I'll probably see, 
let's get a rifle throw dress. Probably going to just draw like a, a loose reference of how I want the dress to be positioned. And if any position looks wrong to you, just let me know. The way I'm phrasing it kind of sounds like, I feel like I sound like an optometrist right now with how I'm phrasing it. Does it look like the, is it, what's better, slide one or slide B? Just trying to like get like a, a sort of bashful arm positioning. Um, I'm I, like on the one hand I try and not do poses that covers the hands because I know that's like a stereotypical uh, artist trick to avoid drawing hands but at the same time I think sometimes you just gotta draw a pose like that so how is everybody's day been today How's this for like a bashful look? Like arm behind and then kind of covering the face or like close to covering the face a little bit. Like how, how's that look for the pose? Oh, I'm glad. So this is just like the first rough go through. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah, draw whatever you need. Um, it's good. I got up out of bed like an hour and a half ago and I made some Trader Joe's crescent rolls. So I hope you all are doing more productive than I am. I think this is actually the earliest I've streamed in a long time because I tended to go go for evenings and at um, lower lower afternoons later. Hmm. Chicken salad sandwich. I'm, I've never had chicken salad. I know it's like not like one product. There's like different ways of making it, but. Oh, geez. I'm so sorry you got COVID. I hope you're, uh, other than the tiredness, I hope you're recovering well. Ooh. So I thought Chipotle was a restaurant. Is Chipotle also a sauce? Hi, Bunsig. Yeah, art. I'll probably edit the mouth later. I'll just go with this for now. As you can probably tell, I don't use any guidelines or anything, so I pretty much just entirely wing this. I wing to it. Um, like the only guidelines I use are like the, this stuff, the body, but not like any actual like middle of the face lines or anything. I see. Is it like really spicy? I, because like for me, a jalapeno is spicy, but I know that a lot of people do not consider jalapenos even slightly spicy. I'll change the eyes a little bit. It's 
spicier than a regular jalapeno. Okay. And here. So because these are just sketch cons, this is probably, I probably won't do a second pass through. I'll probably just do my best to do this part clean and then refine it when it gets to approval. Well, I hope you're enjoying your, your Chipotle chicken sandwich. Um, I gotta actually start looking at the dress reference. <laughs> I mean, you joke, but, like, that's how I do a lot of my art, like, I've tried to stop thinking about, <laughs> um, I try to stop thinking about, like, perfection, or at least I try and stop myself from thinking about perfection too much, because thinking too hard about perfection is what gets you uh being just totally blocked and totally unable to even like accept the small things i mean i still have an issue i think a bit with wanting to be perfect and really good but i think like i think at this point i've stopped caring about being perfect but i still care about like quality maybe a little too much How's this looking still, by the way? Like, am I doing the... I guess I should have asked, is, is the character a he or a she? Like, she, okay. Does, is this body type and like hair and everything looking good? I kind of feel like, I don't know. Like, what, what do you think? How do you think this looks so far? Okay, wonderful. Um, I just wanted to add the braid in. I'm still not great at drawing braids, so it's like, oh, and there's the alarm. So I'm going to stop drawing for five minutes. Stretch. Ugh. This looks pretty good. Yeah. I think this looks pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, for the longest time, I hated drawing glasses. Um, and now look at me. My, my literal calzona has glasses. <laughs> I mean, I think at this point, I've just realized now that um, I, I, lit I just draw glasses in my own kind of lazy way, um, and that works out better. And I also draw glasses on a different layer, because I hate drawing glasses on the same layer as the line art. Um, it just makes everything about the drawing around the eyes and the face complicated, especially if I need to make adjustments to the glasses. Yeah, I mean, that's how I do it too. I don't draw like the full square because it's really hard to make it look even. Um, so I just draw it in the stylized way that like, that I did here, which is actually really funny because the way that I draw my cow, my cow sona, my, my cow sona, okay, fine, my cow's owner, um, the way I draw her is with the glasses, you know, like how I did it here, with the glasses going around the bottom, but in real life, you know, which is, that cow sona is supposed to be, like, IRL goals, 
in real life, my glasses don't have a bottom frame at all. It's just empty on the bottom, and I just have the top frame. So I kind of draw it the reverse of real life. If I could, I would. Genuinely. If I could grow cow ears and grow a cow, cute little cow tail and replace the bottom half of my, replace my legs from the knees down with hoof, hoof legs, hoof legs, fine, um, I would, I guess that would make me like a satyr. Satyr. S A T Y R. I think that's a good. I think that's a good description of how I draw my cow sona with the the hoofed. <laughs> yeah, with the sort of hoofed bottom legs. Satyr. Okay. I heard somebody say satyr one time. But when I read Percy Jackson as a child, I always kind of read it as satire. With emphasis, with the stress on the second syllable instead of the first. But sa satyr makes sense, and sa satire would also make sense. Yeah, I mean... Ancient Greek. These are the guys who brought us the word rhythm. Satyr? Satyr? David Satyr? Um. It's, a. Uh... Well, yeah, I guess... Cow, like a cow satyr, satyr is how I would describe my cow sona in terms of the anatomy. I mean, plus the, the tail and the ears. You know, I don't remember Grover from, that's his name, right? Grover from Percy Jackson. I don't remember him having goat ears, but I do remember him having the, the hoofed legs that he always struggled to get into, like proper pants. A minotaur would be very different. I don't have a maze yet, so I can't yet be a minotaur. Although that would be really, that would be a really funny thing to do, is to literally like own enough capital to be this cow lady that owns a maze. Hi, Ease. Thank you. <laughs> I cannot say, I, I don't think I'm from Crete unless my parents have been hiding something from me. Which I figure they haven't because I've seen my birth certificate many times. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna make the joke because I've been in court. There's a there's a bunch of like, you know, being in the. I guess it's not the Michigan's not the stereotypical Midwest, but being sort of in the Midwest, there's cornfields and corn mazes all throughout. Um. I think Michigan is like, technically part of the Midwest, but. Um. It's like too, a little too north. It's like honorary Midwest. I think it's just Midwest location wise, but not really culture wise. Um, it's like, I don't know. I feel like Michigan's more known for like industry and stuff rather than agriculture. Um, yeah, no, I definitely could do, like, a corn maze type thing. I think that would be very funny. I wouldn't post a map of the maze anywhere, so you wouldn't know that this is in the shape of a cow. 
Oh yeah, like um the the school that I grew up to or grew up in our sports colors were maize maize and blue. Um So that's how I know that maize means like well, I know that at, at the very least I know that maize means yellow. Um a type of yellow and it makes sense to me then that maize means corn. Do a little bit of that. What other colors can corn come in? Well, let me flip the canvas, see. Oh yeah, the, oh man. You know, honestly, I just kind of won't, won't it. I just kind of winged this pose and it's looking really good. I guess that makes sense. Well, I mean, I know that like, Okay, so which direction is the skirt spinning? Um, let me have it spinning like that. I know that like um, the the pop the the corn they use for popcorn is like not your stereotypical like soft yellow buttery corn. It's a it's it's a a very much harder kernels. Um, I did. I watched that video of Nile Red trying to pop corn on the cob, and it. Um, I mean, it makes sense to me what popcorn kernels are now. Like that is literally just what you get on corn on the cob, but much, much harder. How's this dress looking, by the way? Also, sorry, I know some people like to put music on their streams, but I I, I can't be asked to do that because I don't really listen to music very often. Well, I, I listen to music very often. I don't often do it while I'm listening, while I'm doing art. I'm glad. I'm going to finish up the, the legs here, and then I'm probably going to take my, my food, my little food break. Um, and so I'm likely to have my mic muted if I'm eating so you don't hear the chewing sounds, but I might unmute my mic to, to talk while I'm doing that. So let me just finish this up. Hi, hi princess. Finish this up. This, uh... It's kind of funny, this art is probably pretty much nearly finished now. Just because of the, it's going to be a watercolor sketch, so the coloring is going to probably go by pretty fast. But, um. Sometimes I feel like my sketches look too clean, so I'll add, like, imperfections deliberately. Hi, Flan. Like, sometimes I'll just do, do stuff like this to really hit the vibes of, of a sketch rather than a lined piece. Um, I probably should have cropped this. So I'm going to crop it. Wallace and crop it. Yeah, that's the, th like, that's the thing. I have, a, I have a bad habit of um, Refining too much in my my sketch phase. Thank you <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be taking I'm going to leave this up because I'd rather you guys have something to look at here but I am going to be um, getting up and eating and Muting and unmuting my mic while I while I eat so I can talk with y'all um, Again, I'm just gonna ask like how's your day is going? What are y'all thinking about? What are you what are y'all dreaming of? Um, and I'll be right back.
you know, thinking about it, this stream layout would be more suited to autumn rather than summer, but I hope you had a good day at work, Flan. And I have not watched the trailer for the new Kirby thing, but from what I've seen, like the screenshots and little pieces I've seen, it looks cute. I, uh, oh wow. <sighs> rigging, rigging a model sounds difficult with that much, oh my gosh. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck, Bunsig. He doesn't have legs like Sonic does. They get those feet get tired. I heard somebody describe it like Fall Guys, so it might be like that. I'd have to watch the trailer, I think. Which I still haven't in the, the past few minutes since I last said I didn't watch the trailer. Bunsig, no. Don't don't turn don't turn everybody into Kirby fan four numbers. You need to you need to you need to save you need to save the Kirby game from the Fall Guys fate. Kirby <laughs> That reminds me that Kerbal also sounds like Kerbal, like Kerbal Space Program. I was yeah, you had the same train of thought that I did. The Kerball space program is when Kirby rolls too fast and launches into space. <laughs> True. Has anybody modded Kirby into BeamNG Drive yet?
Once I get back to drawing, I think I'm going to fix up the feet on this drawing because they're looking a little uneven. I know it's just a sketch, but... Hmm. To me, at least, it looks like one foot is bigger than the other, and then when I flip the canvas, it looks like it's definitely not balanced very well. That would be fun. I think that would be very funny. I mean, if they added Kirby to Mario Kart, I think it would be very funny if they didn't have him driving the car and he just is in mouthful mode around every single vehicle. Kirby is not old enough to drive. Kirby is not old enough to drive. He does not have a license, but he can grab onto a vehicle with his mouth and have, and like that's that doesn't count as driving. That counts as just being a passenger. Well, yeah, a star is not the same as a car. Different licenses. Shush. You... Yeah, the Mario universe just hands a PhD out to anybody. You're you're a medically you're you're a medically licensed doctor if you throw pills at at at, at a wall. You get the you get the coat, you get the stethoscope, you get the weird thing on the forehead. Was it Dr. Mario World, the, you know, that mobile game? Was that one? What, bleh, was that the one? Did it have, like, Dr. Petey Piranha and Dr. like, three Goombas stacked on top of each other? Like, didn't it have those? Yeah. I like Petey Piranha, but I don't think he's qualified to be a doctor. I don't think that I could trust him to give me a proper checkup. I would not trust any diagnosis he gives me. That would be the plot twist of the century, if I'm honest. We really need more P.D. Piranha lore. Look, Ease. Look, Ease, I don't... I don't mean to hurt P.D.'s feelings, I just also think that... He, he should know his limits. A clono eraser would be cute. I think more franchises should have racing games. I think we should go back to licensed franchises. Um, just having spin-off kart racers and stuff like that. Let's turn everything into a kart racer. What would be 
the silliest franchise to make a racing game spin-off out of. The thing with Fire Emblem is that you could easily just put everybody on a horse. Because as far as I know, that there, there's like plenty of horse racing units in Fire Emblem. Or not horse racing, but you know, they, they, they are on a horse. I mean, that is true. Then it becomes a horse racing game and not a kart racing game. But here's, here's my proposition. Put the the character you're playing on the cart being pulled by a horse that's being um, ridden by a, ho a horse unit. There, there you go. It's now a cart racing game. Yeah. You know, I never thought about it, but motorcycles really are just metal horses. I could see a Half-Life, like, the thing about Half-Life is that I could see it being a racing game, but I feel like it, like, if we're talking about a kart racing game specifically being, like, Mario Kart, um, I feel like Mario Kart would end up being way too silly, but at the same time, if Valve had done that back in, like, 2007 or whatever, I, like, I think it would be just silly enough that it would fit the brand of Valve. Honestly. But, like, thinking about it, I can't re like, Frasier Kart is a funny one. I don't know enough about Frasier to be able to determine anything about it. I just know that that sounds pretty funny. Um. The Last of Us? <laughs> the Last of Us Kart Racer. Wasn't that the same? Wasn't that the same game that had Wreck-It Ralph and the Yogs cast in it? God, Sonic and All Stars Racing transformed. It's got to be one of the weirdest rosters for a, a racing game I've ever seen. In fact, scr scratch racing game out of that and just say weirdest rosters for a game. Like, Smash Bros. is a total, like, mish mishmash of styles and franchises from all across Nintendo and other games' IPs. But, you know, it fits because they're all video game characters. And, like, at this point, we've kind of accepted that, the, you know, the, these, these universes cross over. But I think the Sonic All-Stars Racing roster is just fundamentally weird as fuck because you have real people, you have a movie character, you have characters from a PC game that have never collaborated with Sonic before, and then you have a bunch of Sonic characters. God. Imagine turning fighting games into party games. In obligatory Smash Bros. comment here, but I'm talking like imagine Street Fighter Party. Like I'm just imagining like a reskinned version of Mario Party, but with with like Ryu and Chun Li and Ken. Like that would just be so funny. Okay. God. You know what? I can honestly see a Guilty Gear party working. Oh, shoot. 
For some reason, that doesn't seem out of place in my mind. Ooh, Pac-Man Fever. We were talking about Pac-Man last time I streamed. Um, and I think Pac-Man Fever is one of those games that... No, it was the song. But there's a song called, like, Pac-Man Fever, right? Where guy sings about how he's got Pac-Man Fever. I remember watching a video of that one 2000s Pac-Man PC game. Um, I forget what it was called. But it was, like, the, the one where you're, like... It's just basically, like, normal Pac-Man, but the, the mazes have, like, traps and stuff. Um, and, like... It's... I, I saw a video of, like, gameplay of that where, where somebody, like, used the song Pac-Man Fever to... as, like, the background of it. And that is, like, perhaps one of the oldest YouTube things, like, the most indicative of old YouTube that I can think of. Where you just have random gameplay clips with, like, songs over it. Um... Like, that had to- that video had to have been, like, 2007. <laughs> I also remember a video, and I don't think I can really find it anymore. I tried finding it, and maybe it was- This kid me would always find videos and then not know how to go back. Oh, wait, no, this is not a colored sketch. I don't need to do this. But, um... So everything looks good on the sketch, by the way. Like... No, nothing you want me to edit or, or change or anything? Awesome. Yeah, like, I, I would find things on the internet as a kid, and I didn't understand bookmarks or history or anything like that, so I would just... Sometimes there was like a video I really wanted to watch and I would just scour YouTube for it and I would find other videos and it's like I'm very glad I at least grew up on that instead of autoplay without the era of autoplay Um Because with how autoplay has changed the the, the market for YouTube videos, it's uh kind of scary Um Yeah, I, I don't remember knowing, like, how to make playlists or anything, but I would sometimes accidentally press, like, the watch later button instead of, like, like or something. So, I'd end up with the... And I still do, in fact. I still... Like, even though this, this YouTube channel is not the same as the one that I used as a kid, I still have ended up accidentally pressing the watch later button and ended up with just random videos... Um, in my watch later playlist that I've not touched because I did not intend to. But I'm, just, I'm also too lazy to, to just go back and, and change it because, like, it's not doing anything because I'm not actively checking it. So it's just, like, it just stays there. I think there was, like, one video that I put in a watch later playlist that I actually intended to watch later. Yeah, I... It definitely took me way too long to learn about shortcuts and bookmarks and stuff like that, but I, I eventually found it. I just don't... As a kid, and like even now as an adult, my, my computer and technology literacy is just not very great. But I, I know what, what my limits are, and I know what I'm like, so it's sort of like... I know I can ask my friends for help most of the time. Damn it, I thought I selected the soft eraser. Oops, that's the airbrush. Nope, that's wrong one. There may be tiny sparkles in this part of the picture.
Yeah, I I no longer have the bookmarks that I had for years just because I'm on a new computer now. I mm, I don't think I transferred any of my bookmarks. Yeah, I'm, I'm like trying to think. Okay. Break time. I know I just got back from my eating break, but the timer was still poised to stop, so... These chicken nuggets got cold as I was eating them. Very disappointing. <laughs> God. I'm not surprised though, just because Minecraft mods, some like some of them big popular minecraft mods need like a ton of documentation to even like be understood like is it's kind of ridiculous i've i've tried getting into mods and i think if there's like a good mod pack that somebody introduces me to i can kind of get into it but i feel like if i I've never really had um, anybody go out of their way to teach me how to use mods because every time I've like joined a modded server or been invited, everybody's already doing their own things uh, with their with their own mods that they're interested in. Um, so I just kind of play vanilla Minecraft, but with but also with modded aspects. And then I try and get into a mod, and then I kind of get bored and leave. Well, not leave, but just go inactive. Um, I think modded Minecraft is definitely fascinating. Yeah, exactly. Mod mod packs are extremely overwhelming for people like me who, I've I am so used to the traditional Minecraft progression, you know. Make a wood pick, get stone, make stone tools, get iron, get iron tools, get diamond, get diamond tools, get enchants, you know. I'm so, like, I'm so used to that that I have not even, like, explored all the new aspects. Like, I've not explored the bees and the honey. I've not explored, you know, the new potions or the, I've not gotten the wither, I've not gotten netherite, like, there's a lot even in the base game that I haven't explored just because I'm so used to the standard progression. And, you know, the, the, the reason I play Minecraft so much is, you know, UHC, so you don't get to explore every single aspect anyway because you're only playing for, like, two hours. Um, but it's, like, it's that, it's just, it's just hard already for me to do vanilla stuff that's new so like trying to do a, a mod pack there's so much new I'll have to look into that I'll admit that I've never been into the industrial mod packs but it's also because I've not had anybody to really teach me or introduce me to it so it's kind of I, I would be willing to give it a try. I just also, you know, just I just know nothing about, like, what those games are like, other than that they're factory games, so... Let me check Discord. Let me check Twitter. Ooh, okay. The, uh... Man, there's a lot of good art on Twitter right now. Oh my gosh.
Um, so I don't know if any of you saw this, uh, the, the James Webb Telescope's first deep field image. Um, but the full, like, it, it was released earlier yesterday, but I think the full HD picture has now been released. And just, gosh, this is just incredible. I'm, I'm mesmerized by, by the colors of the, of the image. There's a galaxy in the deep field image. It's sort of in the, the top middle right that looks like every astronomy book depiction of an accretion disk. Because it's so red shifted and it's like on edge. I don't know, it's just so cool. Huh. Yeah, that, I mean that's the thing to me about the, those industrial mods and factory mods in Minecraft is that there's a, there's a lot of it where it's just, I don't know, I just, I don't know the point of everything. It's very hard to know when to get started when you have like 20 different machines just to do one like process. Oh, don't even get me started on those like mods that add in like coding and programmable computers into Minecraft. That is just ridiculous. I would definitely be interested in trying that out sometime. I'll have to check it out once I get the free time. <laughs> Honestly, though, I appreciate that because I think I feel like too many mods focus on realism, if I'm honest. I feel like Minecraft mods shouldn't be so realistic or shouldn't be like there's a, there's a mod pack called Terra Firma Craft, which maybe you guys have heard of. Maybe you haven't. I'm not sure. I feel like it should be a pretty infamous one just from how realistic it tries to get. But. Again, I don't know if that's just something I've heard of from the places I've seen or not. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. You know, when I, when I do these watercolor sketches, I kind of cheat a bit by using the, the soft eraser to make it look more watercolory. <laughs> sort of like artificialness. All right, I think that, sh well, actually I should probably do the eyes next, which unlike the rest of the sketch, I do the eyes just with my normal brushes just to make them pretty clear. Oh, and you know what I've forgotten to do at this stage so far is I've forgotten to do the line art blurring, but I'll do that after. I mean, true. It's not watercolor because I'm not using watercolors, but you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right. Is the, is there two different blues on the dress mirror? Like, is it a lighter blue on the bottom part or is it all just the same?
<laughs> okay. That makes sense. That's what it looked like in your in your reference. I just wasn't sure because it also was a little scribbly. A little scrim scrimble of and blow on your art. God. That's probably one of the most cursed things I've ever said. The scrimblo bimblo of, of reference sheets. to see somebody make an actual Scrimblow Bimblow game. Like, make an actual game called Scrimblow Bimblow and try and visualize what that would be. Try and mix together every single mascot platformer from the N64 and early, early GameCube era. Like, try and mix together every single collectathon and platformer trope into one game and call it Scrimblow Bimblow. And then what we need after that is um, JR McJRPG guy, which is basically mixed together every single 2000s RP RP JRPG into one game and call the protagonist McJRPG guy. <laughs> I'm just imagining like Donkey Kong 64 basically All right. Now I think that should be done on most of the color. What I'm going to do actually is going to do something cute. I'm going to add some little sweat drops like that to really sell the the, the bashfulness. Is there like a third counter counterpart to like Scrimblo Bimblo and JR, JRPG guy? Because you have the. Because it's about characters that get in Smash, and it's like, oh, people are mad that McJRPG guy got in, but not Scrimblo Bimblo from their beloved obscure platformer. So, like, what would be the third category? Is this what's contained in the image? Oh yeah, iconic kick punch him from the fight games. <laughs> uh, that's that's what I was missing. Dick kick him. What I also do is I erase the blur around the face and the eyes. I'm just really big on keeping the, the eyes very unshaded and untouched. <laughs> I mean, that's the, that's the thing. Um, Steve, Steve McMeme pick, I guess you could, you could say. I don't know. That one really doesn't work. Johnny Johnny meme Johnny meme pick, but like other than Steve, like what would capture that energy? Like what would be a meme pick? Oh shoot! There's a layer. Oh, what? What? Like, what characters do you think classify as a meme pick other than Steve? And even then, I don't think Steve is a meme pick because Minecraft is one of the most popular games in the in the world. Like. I think, yeah, I think Piranha Plant was more of a meme pick than Steve. And even then, I feel like it can still be argued that Piranha Plant is one of the most iconic Mario enemies, and it's the one that probably works the best as a fighter. Like, oops. Like, I feel like there's... Like, there's probably a lot of Mario characters who could have got in before Piranha Plant, but I also think that Piranha Plant was not really a bad choice. It's just surprising. 
because I don't think anybody had it on their list. Yeah, Fall Guy, Fortnite, Among Us. I would support Among Us in Smash, though, like, unironically. Unironically, I would want to see Among Us in Smash. In Spanish. <laughs> Thank you, Captioner. Uh, I, I, I don't really know if I'd count Undertale as a meme pick. Because it's really popular, especially in Japan. And Toby Fox has played Smash Brothers with Sakurai. Like, you can't... I feel like you would not be able to deny that Undertale could get a spot in. I mean, it is also a meme, but... I don't think reducing Undertale to just being a meme game is, is like, very fair. Eh, uh, that's fair. That's fair. The thing is, though, like, as much as I think it would be fun to see, like, Undertale characters in Smash, the whole point of, like, the game is to not fight. Um, I, I, I do feel like Toby wouldn't really... I feel like Sans as a me costume is probably one of the best decisions he could have made in regards to inclusion in the game. Because it's not even Sans fighting, it's you dressing up like Sans. Like, I wouldn't, I don't know if, like, it would even, like, make sense for Frisk, like, I guess that's what people said about the Animal Crossing Villager and Pac-Man uh, Pac or whatever, like, not being able to see these characters fighting on the battlefield does not mean that they're not um, suited to be a fighting game character. But at the same time, I feel like Toby is the kind of guy who might have reservations about a character like Frisk being used in a fighting game, if you know what I mean. Like, I, uh, maybe, maybe I'm assuming too much about Toby, though. Like, I don't, I don't know him personally, so maybe he would be all for it. Personally, for me, I'd really like to see Susie. Because I think Susie is probably the most, the one who would thrive the most in a fighting game setting. Because Ralsei, Ralsei can do magic, but I don't think he would want to fight. And then Chris... So it's like, I think Susie would probably be the best, but then you could probably argue that Susie is not the best representative of the entire franchise. But at the same time, you have characters like Min Min, who won because she was popular and not because she represents the whole game. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is done, I think. Just, l just let me know if you have any uh, thing you want me to change. And otherwise, I think this is probably done here. That is true, Bunsig. They, they did put Aang into very non-pacifist situations a lot of the times. But yeah, Susie is very much willing to, you know, kill. It's very good. I, I really like it. Um, I, I really like this design as well. Thank you for letting me draw it. And so, if everything's good, then I'll probably schedule it to post on my Twitter and stuff tomorrow. If that's alright with you. You know, it is funny though, because they do canonically play Smash. Um, I forget what the text said. Is Azriel better at Smash than Chris? Or is Chris better than Azriel? I forget. I think it's Azriel's better than Chris. Also, that is a very good point about Phoenix Wright. I'd I'd argue that <laughs> Phoenix Wright almost feels like a shonen court drama. Yeah, honestly, honestly, 
I could definitely see like them in Rivals of Ether. Like that you make up a good you make a good point. Oh, was it about Mario World? I thought I thought it was Azriel used or somebody used Yoshi to beat the other in Smash Bros. I do think it would be very funny to make a fighting game based exclusively on bad ideas for fighting game characters. Like, like, take, like, take every bad scrapped idea from a fighting game being developed and put that in your game. It's like... Okay. Maybe I mixed up those two references into one then. Okay. Um. But yeah, it's like. I think it would be very funny to. Put. To make a purposefully unbalanced, shitty fighting game. Just from ideas like imagine like you hack into nintendo hq and find their scrapped smash bros ideas for like moves and stuff and then you siphon that all into characters in your game specifically in a way that makes it like bad <laughs> anyway if all is good here if nothing needs to be changed then I would like to, uh, <laughs> I would like to thank you all for coming. Um, I'll save the PNG, I'll send it to you, Mirror. Um, I will upload it tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's been fun talking with you all. It was fun doing this short little stream. I don't know if I'll do more art streams or not, but it's worth experimenting with more. So... I would like to thank you all for coming. Have a good day, everybody. You're welcome.